Catherine Patterson, born Catherine Wondroff, was born to Christian missionaries George and Mary Wondroff in China on October 31, 1932. As a child, Catherine lived in a Chinese neighborhood, but when she was five years old, her family and her were forced to evict China due to the Japanese invasion of 1937. They lived in Richmond, Virginia for a short time, then returned to live in Shanghai, China. Three years later, they were forced to move again, ending up in North Carolina. They moved 11 more times between 1940 and 1950 due to her father's work and because of the war in China. In 1954, Catherine graduated from King College in Bristow, Tennessee, now known as King University, with a degree in English. Keeping in mind that Catherine was born in China and her first language was Chinese, it was very difficult for her to read and write in English, yet she was still able to overcome that challenge. After graduating from King College, Catherine taught at an elementary in Virginia before going back to graduate school. It was in Richmond, Virginia where she attended the Presbyterian School of Christian Education, earning her master's on Bible and Christian education. After graduating, Patterson moved to Japan where she studied both the Japanese and Chinese culture which is where most of her writing is influenced from. With over more than 30 books, including 16 novels for children and young adults, Catherine has won the Newbery Medal for her book Bridge to Terabithia in 1978, a book where the imagination of two young lives take them to their own secret country, Bridge to Terabithia only to end in a tragical event. In 1981, Patterson won the Newbery Medal Award for Jacob Have I Loved, a story in where Louise struggles to find herself and get away from the shadow of her perfect twin sister. After Caroline, Louise's twin sister, marries her friend Cal, Louise finds a way to get out of Rosh Island and moves to the mountains where she marries and finally finds her joy, happiness, and herself in that small town. The Sign of the Chrysanthemum, 1973, a story in which a 14-year-old child searches for his father after his mother has passed. The only thing Muna knows about his father is that he was a samurai with a chrysanthemum tattoo on his shoulder. During his journey to find his father, Muna is faced with hard decisions he must make. In Patterson's The Master Puppeteer, she has received two different awards. In 1977, she received the National Book Award for Children Literature and the Edgar Allan Poe Special Award, Mystery Writers of America. The Master Puppeteer is a novel about a puppeteer apprentice who is determined to discover the secret of a master thief named Zaburo. As many people in this town are struggling to survive, Zaburo is a person who takes from the rich and gives to the poor. As Jiro continues to unlock secrets about the thief and others, Jiro is faced with different sacrifices as well as victories. In 1991, Patterson wrote Liddy. Liddy was the honor book of the International Board of Books for Young People in 1994. As Liddy and her younger brother Charlie are sent out to work as servants at different places in order to pay off their family debts, Liddy is determined to find a way to get her family back together. Charlie writes Liddy, telling her, how he is very welcomed at his new place and how he is treated as family. Yet, Liddy is struggling to stay in one place. In her last place of service, Liddy discovers a disturbing incident which causes for her to be fired by her supervisor. When Liddy returns home, she decides to go to college in which both women and men are equally accepted. 
Another great book written by Patterson was The Great Jelly Hopkins in 1978. This book has received several recognitions. In 1979, it received the National Book Award, as well as the Newberry Honor Award. It was an honor book in James Adams Children's Book Award, the Christopher Award, and in 1978, it was the American Library Association Notable Children's Book and the School Library Journal Book. Jelly Hopkins is a mean young girl who lives in foster homes. Jelly hates moving from foster home to foster home. All she wants is to be back with her mother. But after several attempts at escaping Trotter, her foster mom, Jilly is finally taken by her grandmother, which puts her in her mother's hands. To this, Jilly realizes that she has been wrong all this time, and now who she really wants to be with and loves is her foster mother, Trotter. Among all the wonderful great novels written by Katherine Patterson, she has also done picture books like Blueberries for the Queen, The Wide Awake Princess, and The King's Equal. She also writes chapter books, The Smallest Cow in the World, and Marvin One Too Many are a few which are great for children who begin to read. She has done retellings on Parzival, The Tale of the Mandarin Ducks, as well as Christmas Stories, A Midnight Clear, and Angels and Other Strangers. And her most recent picture book release is The Flint Heart. In an interview with Patterson, when asked when it was she first knew she wanted to become a writer, her answer was that she never wanted to become a writer, not when she was a child nor a young adult. Yet today, she wants nothing more than to be a writer. The old idea was that you have to live an exciting life to write books. I believe that you have to have a rich, imaginative life. You don't have to fight dragons to write books. You just have to live deeply the life you've been given, said Patterson. And so it is. Catherine Patterson has deeply lived her life. She is one of America's best-known authors for children's novels. <laughs>